no, 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 no. <laughs> Go to the abandoned production zone without being noticed. Okay. Okay, so, um, it seems that we have to go stealth mode on this one. Without being noticed. Oh, there are mechs here. Yeah, it's going to be a perilous one. I can feel it already. To, to the production zone. So, uh, how are we doing? It feels completely different from before. Is it really necessary to use all of this just to deal with poor kids? <laughs> I'll protect you, Miss Paimon. Miss Paimon, don't be afraid of the hexes of those wicked sorcerers. I'll stop them for, for sure. For you. Doesn't that mean that God the Noir? Gotta be cheerful, Lenore. Don't be struck by the gods seen by Surely the searchlights. Our goal is to shield mineshaft, so we have to go up to the abandoned production zone. Anyway, let's head in the direction of the lift first. Okay! <clears throat> uh, stealth mode it is. So, how do we go there? Shh. Discretion mode. Level six thing. Okay. What if uh what if I do just this? There. Yeah, that should be good. Where is he? Whew, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Noticed. Yeah, but where are we supposed to go? said without being noticed, right? Um... Right... Uh... Sure! Sure! Um... Nothing to fear. Seems like I'm... Sorry. I'm seems, it seems like I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. to grab this. Okay. <laughs> All we have to do is go this way. Oh, this room. Okay. Seems that I don't have a choice in the matter. Operate the draw valve to uh, to open the passage leading to the shield mine shaft. Hmm. 
There. That does it. All right. It's so different from inside the fortress. There are no traces of human buildings at all. Were people really washing a place like this? Uh, well, maybe. Look at that, wow. What? What is this? Is this the geo mine shaft? Paimon's heard of it before. It's a little different than she imagined. Wow, what pretty rocks. Are all of these gems? It's Archim. Archim mining operations stopped after the Fontaine research. Sorry, let me review this again <clears throat> from the top. It's Archim. Archim mining operations stopped after the Fontaine Research Institute accident. So it's because of these Archim that the Fontaine Research Institute is in shambles, <clears throat> basically. Maybe we should keep our distance then. So. There really is this research terminal here. Hmm, is there a note next to it? Its the clients have left it, it, it here. The clients have left it here. Let's see what it says. Disclaimer. This locking mechanism can only be opened by two people simultaneously. The energy storage unit has been removed from the front research terminal. The geode mine shaft has been equipped with a flying energy thief. Initializing the front research terminal with an energy storage device is not advised unless protective measures have been taken. The flying energy thief is a trial product that has not undergone internal, internal or PR review. It will pursue any entity carrying an energy storage device and, and disable said device. So those things that I saw flying were the flying energy thieves. The loss of control or explosions occurring during the trial product's operation will be considered unfortunate accidents for which the manufacturer is not liable. It is uh, strongly advised not to leave from here. Work in the production zone is hardiest. At the very least, it is not life-threatening. Turn back now. If there is anything about the Fortress of Murphy that you are unsatisfied with, Please see Miss Monglan and fill out a survey. So the crew, the two lines in blue right here, the energy storage unit has been removed from the front research terminal. Okay, it will pursue any entity carrying an energy storage device and disable said device. All right. Is this the surprise plan was talking about? More like a shark. Hmm. To activate this research terminal, we'll need a mobile energy storage device. That, but once we have one, we'll get chased by some sort of flying energy thief. So we will just have to beat this energy thief in a race. But flying is faster than running, though. How? <laughs> How can you give up before the race has even started? It's going to be a race. I'll be rooting for you too. Alright, let's leave this terminal to Caterpillar and Noir. We'll take care of the rest. I'll keep watch. Be careful. Mm, this is said to be one of the security measures set up inside the Geode Mineshaft. It will actively pursue entities carrying storage devices and will use small yield explosions to disable those storage devices. To anything that is not holding on to a storage device, however, they pose no threat at all and appear to be no more than pretty little balls. Okay. Okay. What is this? Is this like an 
energy storage device or something. I don't know. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it la later. The usage here is. Um, I mean, the OST here is quite intense. Maybe because I'm doing a race between uh, against these things. So this is the research terminal. So I have to get all of these. Uh, and so I get. I have to get. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one here. That, how do we get here, though? Yeah, it seems like nothing happened. <laughs> so, okay, no, I cannot cross the head. Yeah, I cannot jump. Not go there as well. How do you expect me to go uh, there? Is this supposed to be one of the energy storage devices or... Oh well. Mysterious ore. Uh, is this a quest item or... Let me see. I see. So... What I'm supposed to do is, I think Time to go. that um, I first have Time to, to go. wait. Where is it? No, it's not here. Okay, so this terminal here. It seems that I have to give it the energy uh, storage device first to, I suppose, then unlock. Uh, some of the paths. All right, here there's nothing. Time to go. Cool. Leave me alone. As long as not getting um, not getting um, touched by any of these uh, orbs, we'll be okay. It's a race. Time to go. So now, where is the last one? Yeah, the last one is here. Is there a way to get it? Time to go. Yes, there is. Have to run. Run. Time to go. Run for your life. Time to go. Just after them, I can hear you as scan down from free and turn them on. Three, two, one, break the seal. Now we can finally get out of there. There's no other pull it over here. The way out is clear. Okay, come on. Chatter faster. Keep moving. Time to go. Haunting Research Institute's tech really is unreliable. Did it malfunction? At least it won't explode this time, probably. Maybe someone's catching up to us. Sh should we go back and take a look then? <laughs> uh, no need to 
trouble yourselves, esteemed guests. Guests? You're evil, and I represent the side of justice. Even with that, Jalamax, I won't let you get away. Lay down your arms and surrender. Really? You think? I want to. Okay, so you want to attack me? He's. He's just a monster. Why would you help him? Why would anyone help him? Chad isn't a monster. Why? Why would you call him like that? Evil sorcerer. Ever since Mother left Maripede, Chad has been really nice to me. He's never lied to me. Mother. What if her mother is one of the Nazi Central's Odo? I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. There are other nice people here too, but none of them are as nice as Chatter. He tells me all kinds of stories and listens to mine too. I won't let you call him a monster. Why? Justice should triumph over evil. There's no such thing as good or evil here. Estienne, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Atoning for my sins, of course. It took me quite some time to retrieve those godmets he utilized without authorization. Well done. You didn't just break the rules, but also violated re regulations as well. Now it's your turn to accept your punishment. You're coming back with me. As for you guys, if you want to leave, this is your last chance. <sighs> with all the fuss he's been making, who knows what will happen later. Of course, it's also possible that nothing will happen at all. Thank you. If you really want to thank me, don't come back again. Then, with Estienne's help, the path is reopened. Paimon guesses we can go now. We should be in the clear now, right? Hmm, let's try to move on before we run into any more surprises. We're living in Maripid again. Will we ever come back? Well... We use the front door next time. Going through the regular channels is safer. Well then, goodbye, Maripede. Leave the fortress of Maripede. Let's dive under water. It's really a beautiful place to be honest. With the oars like that, creating walls. Alright, are you ready? We're going to take a deep dive, it seems. Alright, three, two, one. Hydro visions. Uh, I mean, we have hydro, hydromorphic aberrants, xenochromatic stuff. Yeah. Leave the fortress of Merabed. Full speed. Full speed. <laughs> Just great. 
and we're almost there. There is one Okay. We forge out to build directions to a secret path leading out of the fortress of Meripede. So, yeah, is that he's leaving with us? So, he can become an ambassador of the Hill Churls, maybe. Or he's going to stay and, leave and live with, um, with Lenore. <clears throat> We're finally out! The air outside is so fresh. Lenore's family lives at the foot of the mountains to the southeast, in a mansion with a garden full of purple flowers. Wherever in this world I roam, there. There's something else I, I love to talk about. Memories of my home. This blade. What is this? <laughs> it's there? Who would have thought? Okay. And he won't let me get them. Sure. Look. That's your real home over there. It's just like... It's just like Agnes described. At the breezy foothills of the mountain. Upon a flowery field of grass. That's it? It's just like Mom said. Emil, Paimon, why don't you take Lenoir there? What about you, Chandler? How's your time with us? I'm feeling pretty tired, so I'll rest up here for a while. I'll catch up with you later. And I'll stay with you. Once you're all rested up, well, once you're all rested up, we can go together. So Mom's Paimon must be tired too. It's a shame Bran and Mr. Worsley aren't here. Wolsey aren't here. I kinda wanna go back. Back where? The Fortress of Merapi, of course. Uh, going back now probably wouldn't be a great idea. That's right. Getting out there wasn't easy. Plus, if we go back now, Paimon thinks it would be bad news for his ten the others. Once you want to go back to your real home, Lenore, look, you can see it from here. We just have to go over there, and we'll have reached the end of our adventure. And speaking of which, I don't think we've met your family before, and now that she thinks about it, a lot of details add up. You explain how you helped Earnshaw find Pr Prince, Princess, and Heron. Yeah, Earnshaw's tasks are really so tasty. We don't love it, Lenoir. <clears throat> so that's his daughter. It's just, it's just like Anya said. Look, Lenore, there's nothing to worry about. Go home. I know Earnshaw will take good care of you. Will you go with me then? Will you go with me then, Ch Chatter? After you rested, Lenore. Lenore, everyone has somewhere they should return to. You should go back to your real home, and I have somewhere I should go to. Then. And will we see each other again? At the end of the story, the characters in it all disappear. I don't think to see each other again. Of course we will. Your adventure is only just beginning. You, s you see that phrase, that sentence, phrasing of that sentence? Uh, your adventure is only just the beginning. Isn't that what what isn't that what we said to Anne? As well, when um, she was with Simor, and she didn't know if she had the strength to keep going, and we said to her that your adventure's only just begun. There's still a whole wide world out there for you to explore. This is just a temporary goodbye. We'll see each other again. Really? Really, really? I know you've never lied to me before, but... Let me tell you a story, Lenore. Long, long ago, there was a mage's apprentice. It was a mage's apprentice. 
He was a dim-witted apprentice, so it took him far more time than the others to learn the language of magic. This teacher, who was an amazing mage, wasn't the least bit, least bit concerned. On the contrary, he heaped praise on his apprentice's progress and even trusted him with important tasks. The apprentice never doubted his, te his teacher's instructions. After all, he was a great mage who taught him the language of magic. The mage had a basin in his workshop. Actually, you could call it a fishbowl, as he kept a little fish in it. One day, the little fish called out to the apprentice, Hey, you over there, nitwit, help me out! The apprentice was taken aback. Apart from the great mage, nobody, or no creature even, would make conversation with him like that. So this piqued his curiosity, and he asked how he could help. As it turned out, this little fish used to live in the vast and boundless sea. By him being brought here, it had been separated from its family. It has tried to ask others for help, but none had, re none had responded to it. I'd like to bring you home, but my teacher has forbidden me from going out, the apprentice said. Hearing this, the little fish swam crestfallen to the other side of the basin, saying nothing further to the apprentice. Then one day, the apprentice discovered then that the little fish was no longer in the basin. Who took it away? Did they bring it home? The apprentice couldn't help but wonder. Without the little fish, the basin was not completely empty. Just what sort of place is the vast and boundless sea? Before he realized it, the apprentice's thoughts had drifted to the world outside the workshop. And then what? I bet the mage's apprentice leaves the workshop. But the little fish? Did it go back to its home? The sea? It's a place with lots and lots of water, right? Does the apprentice find it? I'll tell you the rest of the story next time. Aww. Only listening to my stories can be that much fun. The next time we meet, if you don't want to hear my stories anymore, you can tell me some of the stories you hear from Urshua. I think Chill has many stories we'd like to share with you. Well, then, the next time we meet, I'll be sure to have lots and lots of amazing stories to tell you. I look forward to hearing them too. Now, it's time for you to go home, Lenoir. This goodbye is only temporary. We'll see each other again. Okay, then, until next time, Chatter. Mr. Limul, Miss Paimon, let's go. Why do I have a feeling that they won't see each other again? Please take the noir home. Alright, let's talk to him. Oh! What are you kids doing here? And this young lady is... Strange. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Strange. She looks rather like. Agnes? The devil with Paimon is trying to unsure what you heard about Agnes from Caterpillar. As you speak, the noir supplements to ta the tale with a few childish words of her own. So that's what happened. That silly girl's already. Mother's not in Maripede. Is she not here either? Yeah. She didn't like it here, so she left and never returned. Why? This place is full of things she likes. I recognized prince, princess, and hero as soon as I saw them. Mom said that she was always very quick to change her mind, and she pestered her dad. Oh, I mean, Grandpa. 
for ages until he finally agreed to get her puppies. She really liked dressing them up, but... But soon she had something else she became even more fond of, so she didn't get to watch them grow up. Why won't she come back? If she doesn't come back soon, I'm gonna grow up as well. She'll come back and see you grow up. Really? But I thought she wasn't coming back before because she found something she liked more. So, is this place going to be my home from now on? That's right, child. This place is your home now. Okay. Hmm. I smell that ragu. You can eat as much as you'd like. Aww. I'm back in my ho own home now. This way I think Catter will be happy too. Catter? Is he the one who took care, who took care of her? Catter. Is he the one who took care of her? If it's alright, could you invite him to rest a while here at the cabin? He's got other things to take care of. That's right. He knows a lot, so lots of people will go to him for help. Is that so? Well, that's a pity. Could you help me get a message to him then? No matter when, he will always be welcome here with open arms. If you ever get the chance, invite him over to be our guest. We'll tell him. Sure thing. Leave it to us. Chatter and I agreed that the next time we meet, I'm going to tell many great stories to him. Well, it looks like we've got a lot of some awesome stories to be prepared then. Can't be sharing stories with him that aren't at least a hundred times more incredible than his. Okay. A hundred times. Even Chatter will be surprised. We can reminisce about the old days while we drink tea and even enjoy some snacks. You're finally back in your real home, Lenoir. You must be tired. I'll leave you to it for now. Mr. Lemul, Miss Paimon, are you guys leaving too? Well, uh, unfortunately, we've got our own adventures to go, to, to go on. Okay then. When I grow a little older, can we go on adventures together? Oh, and Chatter can come along as well. One day, perhaps. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lemul and Mrs. Paimon. See you again later. You guys are living now? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Safe journeys. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's um it's nice to see a a family re reunion like that. It's too bad Chatter isn't here. If he was, he could enjoy this with us too. Even if Chatter was here, he still wouldn't be allowed to drink any more Fanta today. Ah, but Chatter said you have to share with others to be even more happy. I'm sure Chatter also said not to have too much sugar and to brush your teeth after eating. Oh, he, he didn't mention that. <laughs> Ah, it's back in human form. This place, he will get a uh, good amount of supplies. That's for sure. All right, let's go talk to him. Each, <laughs> each. To me, honestly, he could go to their place while in uh, human form. I'm not sure would be too surprised, honestly. But uh, I guess he, he has his reasons, be sure. Hey, Caterpillar. Caterpillar? 
Wouldn't it be great to meet Grandpa Anshaw Lenoir right now? Are you sure about this? She's returned to a normal world with her real family. For her, I'd say things could have, couldn't have ended any better. As for me, she'll forget about me in no time. Hey, don't say that. You should know that you mean a lot to her too. She definitely won't forget the promise you two made to each other. If you really never see her again, she will be heartbroken. She won't. Children tend to quickly forget both meetings and farewells. Is this how they grow up? I'm simply as <laughs> I'm simply a character in a story. Brave at times, yet also an evil monster at others. Let this fantastical story be a memory consigned to, the, to her past. She has the real world now. One that's hundreds of times better than any fantasy narrative. Yeah, but sometimes kid, kids, children, need to have inspiration, imagination. And imagination comes from stories and fantasy narratives. So... How come this wouldn't be great for her as she grows up? Limul, Paimon, thank you. About that payment, don't mention it. As I, made, as I mentioned before, there are places better suited for retelling history, like the Nazi San Crisodo. Yep. Oh, we've been here be there before. If so, that will save us a lot of time trying to find a way there. Let's go. Okay. Unfinished comedy. Hereafter. Initial facts. Go to, go to the Nazi San Crisodo. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm not. The fact is, I'm not even done yet. Because we've helped Lenoir get reunited with her. Is it Grandpa? Earnshaw? I think. But yeah. Um. This is going to be... The Wondrous Trio has been together in a room for quite some time now. Maybe they've discovered new clues, talk to them. So, Simor, Anne, and Caterpillar? Well, that's definitely a story for another day. That's for sure. Um, but yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's crazy. How can you say that? How can you say with a straight face that um, that Lenoir isn't going to remember him at all? Because apparently, kids. Uh, don't register or remember greetings and farewells. No, 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 no. This is not how it works. Uh, we, I think we've got some achievements here. Let me see what they're about. First off, um, oh, we've got something here. Uh, there is one spectacle grander than the sea, that is the sky. Get Lenoir out of the fortress of Meripede. Okay. And for this one above, Wonders of the World. Discover Caterpillar's true identity, 
when the clock strikes midnight. This was a this was a, a great world quest to be honest. I mean this was uh well a great part of the world quest. Lads and ladies around the world, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I hope you had a, an amazing time in this video. Uh we made quite a lot a lot of progress. We've um, finished this part of the unfinished comedy oh my <laughs> just oh my quite gosh. funny um, wow. with uh, huh? Caterpillar and All Lenore with Lenore actually uh, getting oh back God. to her family uh, Earthshaw and yeah uh, Caterpillar I was not expecting uh, him to be an animal killer show road but as it turns out, he's part of the Northern Central's Ordo, and he was in the fortress of Meripid since 400 years ago. It was on a deserted moonlit night that the hero approached the. Yeah, <laughs> 400 years ago, and um, yeah, something happened, and he was an apprentice or like an accessory to Northern Central's, the mage of the Northern Central's Ordo, and uh, yeah. I think this sword uh, slash uh, hand uh, is significant to something that I don't know yet what it is. But uh, yeah, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed on the side of YouTube. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please make sure to leave a like as usual. Also, consider subscribing as well as it helps me with time. Also, um. <laughs> Uh, follow me over at twitch.tv for uh, forward slash forever as and when you can get uh, my stream in all of their splendor I suppose um, and also uh, I also have my patreon page so if you guys want to support me even further then you know what to do head over to that page and um, be part of the forever exclusives and on, as a uh, last call well, I do have uh, on Discord the Forever Gang, which is our Discord. So if you want to come over there and have a chat, with one, then this is the best place to be. And to have a uh, family growing better and better through the days. So yeah, that is all for me guys. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.